Hi, this is Ishfaq Khan and today's session we are going to learn about inventory management in QuickBook Desktop. So the outline that we are going to learn in this session is we have to start. First of all, you have to go to edit, then click on preferences and the preferences click on item and inventory and then click on company preferences and make sure that you have enabled inventory and purchase order from here once you will enable from here then only you will be able to use the stock first of all we will go with the how can you we enter opening balance of the stock so for the entering opening balance you have to go to list item list in the item list at down you can see here an excel click here click on import items click yes okay from here select inventory parts suppose you have 1500 item 2000 item and then it will take a lot of your time to enter one by one so this option is pretty much important for you and also it will help you a lot so you can just copy paste the data and you can enter the opening balance of the data at once without any wasting of time so let's start how will we enter so this is my opening balance as at july 1st of july 2020 so these are the item that i have to enter so first of all i will enter the item name then quantity this is the quantity in hand as at 1st of July 2020 so I will write here paste okay make sure that this the type of this data would be numbers then it will take so you have to make it in number format okay like income account would be sale right click and copy down of your opening balance as at 1st July right click and copy down okay what I see a cost per unit I just copy it it okay total value will automatically come so let's compare the total value how much will be the total okay now click save and okay If you go to the reports, go to the company financial and the balance sheet you can see over here you have opening balance of stock 5400 and the same value is over here. So you have already entered the opening balance of stock, open it and you can see over here item or stock or inventory has is debited in asset account, inventory asset account has been debited and opening balance of equity is credited okay so the other side of the effect is on opening balance of equity so inventory asset has been debited there is no effect on PNL because these are just opening balances and asset account has been increased and equity account is credited all right so we have done the opening balance now let's see how can you create a new item in QuickBook desktop click on item list click on item click new click select the inventory part and here you will write 104 item number 04 okay one more thing make sure that you should allocate some code to your item that will make your work easy as far as data entry is concerned as far as if you are communicating with other departments then you can quote the item code if for the other departments and you can mention the code on your delivery notes and on your invoice so that will help you to retrieve the data and to manage the data easily so make sure that you should allocate some code to your items from here you can give unit then you can give the cost from here 15, let, let's assume that I give 16 is the cost and from here 
allocate assign some sales sales account or income account matters APC that's it click OK a new item is added in this way we will see how can you record purchase of stock or inventory let's see go to vendor click on enter bills select your vendor you can also use purchase order option as well but I am gonna deal directly enter directly bill over here I will purchase 50 item of each I have purchased 50 item of each on 15th of July okay once I have purchased let's see and look how it appears opening balance plus I have purchased I have opening balance of 5400 and I have made purchases of stock at 15th of July 3050 so total amount of stock as at 15th of July would be 8450. As far as PNL is concerned, there will be no entry in PNL because I have just purchased the stock. So inventory asset has increased and account payable has increased. The journal entry would be if you see the journal entry over here, account payable has been credited because your liability has increased. Once your liability is increased, it is credited and inventory asset has increased. So once asset is increased, it is debited. Okay. So we have recorded the purchase of stock as well. Now, what will be the effect of stock once we will effect on stock once we will record the sale. So let's see, let's sell some stock or inventory. Okay. Customer, create invoice, okay, I have sold 20 item of each, 20, let's assume that I have sold each at 40 so that we can know that it is very easy for us to understand okay all right so i have sold these item on 20th of july click save now once we will record the sale the stock will be moved out from your stock list so let's see reports company financial and in the balance sheet you can see that the amount of stock that you have sold has been removed from here okay this is the amount of stock that has been removed where it is yeah with the cost amount with the amount of cost one double two zero how what is the movement on stock quantity wise then we will see the general entry okay go to the reports click on inventory Click on inventory valuation detail. Select your relevant date. I will select all, and then you can see here. If you can, if you observe closely over here, is that you have. So first of all, we will discuss quantity wise. You have had opening balance of one hundred. Then you purchase fifty. Then you sold twenty. Now you have remaining in hand one thirty right similarly all these stock has been arranged with the same way so stock is moving out as far as the stock is removed at what cost it has been removed or it has been moved out at the value of the cost so you can use this report you can also memorize this and you can use this anytime if you want to see the movement in stock so you can use this report
And similarly, let's see the journal entry. How? What? Okay. For seeing the journal entry. account reports and general general okay what happened is your stock has been or inventory has been credited why because your asset has been removed asset is decreased inventory asset is decreased so once decrease an asset it is credited against what is debited against that cost of goods sold is debited okay so it has been charged to PNL so for the sake of understanding, you can say that your expense, it is expense out, increase in expense is debit, increase in as a decrease in asset is credit. So 200, the cost of asset is at the cost of asset 200 credited and 200 debited. Similarly, with the sale amount, once increase in sale, it is increase in revenue is credited and account receivable has been debited with the sale amount. So these are the general entry that has happened if once we have once we, we you have recorded the sale. So also movement in the stock is over there. So entry was once you have recorded the sale entry is sale credit with the receivable amount and account receivable debit and as far as stock is concerned or inventory is concerned inventory your inventory has reduced your inventory has outflowed so your entry has removed from your stock so what happened inventory is credit and with the same amount with the same amount cost of goods sold is debit okay now this we have done now now let's move and let's see how what are different kind of reports that can be used to monitor the stock okay one by one if you want to see overall stock status just go to reports click on inventory and click on inventory valuation summary so you can you will see one by one total stock as at specific date how much stock you have had uh, on a specific date total stock and total value you can see with this report on 1st of july you have this and this stock on 15th of july you have this stock on 20th of july you have this stock and this value okay if you want to see only the total figure okay if you want to see the reports then the other the second kind of report you can use go to reports go to inventory go to inventory valuation detail in this report you can see the movement opening balance purchases then sold and closing stock so you can see all the detail over here total movement of the stock you can see in this report how much has been reported in balance sheets you can see from here inventory asset detail you can see from here as well okay and the fourth kind of report is simple just go to list item list if you want to see a detail of one specific item just right click on that item and go to quick report you can see from here as well similarly just have a look at PNL. You can see that your sale has been reported and your cost of goods sold has been also be reported with the cost of sale has been reported with the cost amount and this has been reported with the sales amount or the amount at which you have sold the stock. Alright. Last thing is adjustment and stock. Suppose you want to have some adjustment in your stock, then what you will do? Suppose you have reported opening balance of stock 104 but it was 105 or there is any other adjustment so what you will do go to vendor click on inventory activities click on 
adjust quantity or value on here click on here from here you can adjust the stock if you want to adjust quantity just click quantity if you want to adjust value if you want to adjust quantity and value click here okay so this is the adjustment suppose there are item one you have 130 but management said that now it is only 129 so you will just write 129 now there is difference of one item so the cost of this one item will be adjusted to which account management said that adjust it in inventory adjustment account and cost of goods sold account so just select it you can adjust it here and click it so now if you will see here it has been adjusted in the inventory adjustment account here you can see here 10 okay and similarly it has also been adjusted in the inventory also yeah you can see over here inventory adjustment one one item it is now it is showing closing balance as 129 so that's it i hope you like this video please click the subscribe button for me like this video share it with your friend thank you very much